Hello YouTube, this is Puck. Um, today I have an iPhone 4 here and it's running iOS 7.11 and we're gonna jailbreak it. There we are and um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, we're not gonna do it with iTunes, we're not gonna do it with uh, uh, how you call it? with um, any evaders or what kind of program also ever we're gonna do it with Pangu Pangu 1.1 1 .1. we're gonna run it as an administrator right mouse click the Pangu and then run as administrator and then we say yes let me close my icons up here you must give your firewall permission to let it do whatever it needs to do so give it full permission don't be greedy with your permission out there nice wallpaper I created it myself so it says connect your device uh, detected a new device iPhone 3 point bloody bloody blah can you see that and uh, well only thing we have to do is hit jailbreak so let's hit, hit uh, jailbreak and uh, please tap settings open okay what should we you the second of June there it is okay so we just set it to the second of June you see and now it went itself and now it's jailbreaking we're jailbreaking uh, 711 And you can see here it's like proceeding you see that please tap the pangu icon on your device so we should get a pangu there it is you see that pangu and then uh wait a second that the app pangu on will open it yes you see we open it and then it continues Keep the device connected and do not close the app. So we just play a little bit with it, hold it in our hands, touching the touch screen so we don't go to sleep. And we're almost there peeps. And we're jailbreaking iOS 7.11 at this moment. We did a fresh install of 7.11. This phone was on 6.13. We were getting error 34 something, 3490 or 30, I can't remember. Very annoying error. So I went to my Mac and I had, uh, I think, iTunes 10 installed on there. And I restored 6.13 with, uh, well, the, the phone was running 6.13. Okay, it's restarting now. So, um, I upgraded to six uh, seven point one one, but I did that with iTunes ten. But when it was installed, after it was installed, it said I had to update it iTunes, but I did not because I had the updated iTunes on this machine as well. So I'm not gonna put it on the Mac. I'm gonna leave ten on the Mac. I'm happy with you know iTunes ten, because iTunes ten ten will let me jailbreak any 3G or 3GS device. So if I'm getting rid of that. You know it's really hard to find it again that's why you must always uh, yeah always uh, keep your old iTunes version somewhere that if you need to help someone or uh, you need to fix an iPhone that was on an older build you know and you need to jailbreak then you can do it with that machine or with that uh, version of iTunes so there we go and the phone is jailbroken I think there you go we must wait a second before we can use this there you go okay and you can see that we have Panga is it still busy with jailbreaking I'm not sure 
It's so busy. Waiting for response. Make sure your device is not password uh, protected. It's not clean up. It's busy. You see that? It removed the the thingy, the icon, and now it's going to reboot again. We're all doing this with Panga from China so what we in fact did we uh, had to put back the date to the 2nd of June and then the thing went uh, jailbreaking and you know um, and now the phone is jailbroken so now we should have Cydia and I understood that we should also have some other uh, programs such as Aptoid Aptoid, oh what is this? Welcome to the Panga Jailbreak gadget ready to load system, enjoy how? thank you my Chinese friends so uh, yeah this jailbreak is uh, straight from China <laughs> and uh, well these guys just uh, uh, created this this jailbreak also for 712 so this is the same method I will also put the link for 7.12 uh, in the description so you can also jailbreak uh, that phone but a uh, reason why evaders uh, did not come out with the jailbreak yet is because they are waiting for iOS 8 they want to jailbreak iOS 8 so that's it so let's see there you got Cydia you see that peeps we have Cydia. Cydia is working. And it's gonna, yeah. Well, I don't have to show you much more about this because, as you can see, it's working and the phone is jailbroken. So, uh, I hope you like this video uh, of how to jailbreak 7.11 after uh, restoring it to 7.11 but this jailbreak is also for 7.12 this method uh, that I showed you in this video was done on 7.11 uh, because yeah I don't even know why I installed 7.11 maybe because I wanted to see if I could jailbreak 7.11 first and then you know go to the next step and you know restore the device with 7.12 and then jailbreak it again I don't know but I could uh, also has gone had gone for uh, 712 because we could also jailbreak it with the same tool so that's it peeps um, won't make this video any longer so if you have the iPhone 4G as well you know and you updated to iOS 7 and you want to jailbreak it well this is the way how to do it panga it's the word uh, I want to say thank you panga my friends panga panga thank you and um, big ups to you guys out there and girls of course that want to jailbreak that little precious device thanks again for watching if you like this video hit that like uh, subscribe etc do all the things that are good for me and for you